welcome to QLab. You might notice the background is a little bit different and the light's a little bit orangey. It's because I'm in a new house and I'm trying to find good places to film. But I wanted to get this intro done, so here we are. In today's video, we're going to be doing the last of the static electricity videos where we build a detector for static electricity. If you want to follow along, I'll put all the bits of equipment in the description box. And, well, let's get started. So my first attempt at this did not go particularly well. I was trying to use a nail and some tape, and it just turned out that there wasn't a great amount of surface area on that nail to interact with charged or static air or a static object that might be brought close to it. You can see there's very little, so let's have another go. You need some foil, a piece of wire, copper wire, we're going to strip it down in a minute too. A bottle, this is actually too big, this bottle, a smaller bottle would work a lot better. And you're going to need a cap for that bottle, and I've just put a hole through it. I've used a nail just to push through it. It's an easy job, just be careful with your hands if you do that, and some tape. You'll also need like a handy little tool. My Leatherman multi-tool is fantastic, can't sing its praises high enough. I'll put a link actually if you want to try and find one of these in the description. But we're going to use it to strip the wire and also the little scissors on the end are fantastic for the tape and for the foil. Now the first thing we're going to make is just two little foil leaves. Don't judge my artwork, I'm not fantastic at this. It's just cutting them into two little sort of leaf shaped objects with a little hole at the top. And I ended up using the nail again because it seemed to work very well just to go through the, the foil. And they're the things that when we charge our little detector, they'll separate because of the static difference between them. They'll both be charged, but the same charge, and they'll push apart. So you just want to strip the ends of the copper wire so we've got a good amount of the copper wire visible. And we're going to poke that through the cap, and I've got a longer end that I want to go through the cap. And the idea is that we want to fix it really well, try and seal up that hole so we won't get much air movement at all in the bottle once we screw it back on. And then what you want to do with the copper top is try and spray it open or spread it out so you get a really good sort of broad surface area for the wires to interact with the air. And then I've just twisted up the wire at the bottom and hooked on the leaves. And what you can do is you can see how I've spread it open here and then those foil leaves, they can move freely. That's very important. They need to be able to move freely, but be attached to the copper, not to the uh, insulating plastic layer. They must be attached to the copper. You can see they're freely moving. Now, we need to insert this into the bottle. And if you were a numpty like me, you made your leaves too big. And herein follows a fair bit of me trying to get the leaves in. And yeah. It works in the end, but I probably should have just made some slightly smaller leaves. Here they go, lovely. And now, well, let's test it out. And so I've used the same PVC tube, just charged up with a bit of cloth. You can see as I move it closer, they do move apart a little bit, but it's not very clear this way round. I found that sort of Gravity acting on the foil made it hard to see, but here you can see it really clearly. You can see those leaves spreading apart as I move the PVC tube closer to the top. So it's detecting the static. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that. Now, if you have any problems when you build yours, I found most of my problems were around getting the foil to fit together well, but being large enough so that you can see the movement. And you might want to think why the bottle is necessary. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll join us in the next video. So see you then.